That makes sense to me. Um, Cammy, Cammy is just so fragile. And yeah. as I said, she has to contest in the neutral. Her best buttons are mediums. Yeah, and that's armor. And bonus. she hasn't got. Well, it's uh, it's a, a huge risk because of the priority system, yes. right? As soon as you start seeing Cammy press medium kick and poking away, I'm just gonna heavy punch, punch, yeah. punch, heavy punch, crush counter system. And like I said, and I she mean, hasn't got crush counter of her own to just right. swing out and dash behind and get the knockdown. It's yeah. difficult for her to use the dive kick to get in because the standing light punch covers so much space. We'll see how this goes. He's going to be using the size mode a lot to try and just zone out with less risk than a fireball. Still a lot of risk though. And of course, he's still have to guess like everyone else. Yep, yeah, air to air. And because of his short uh, jump off, I think he actually lands an advantage. Right. Unlike a lot of characters, sometimes yeah. they have negative, but here we go. Gamer be using that uppercut. And I'm sure one, another advantage that Nikali has is that See, he has command throws as well. He can beat up a lot of slow, wake up. Uh, so. Yeah, but he can beat up a lot of wake up armor situations and yes, such. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Oh, wow. I actually landed into that. I thought that was going to whip, and I think so did Problem yeah, I think Problem might have been a little bit too early trying to, to punish the whip on the reset. But here we go. This is, the round has finally started. Yeah, there's the punish. Trigger activation, gets the juggle, pushes him into the corner, gets the counter hit into a regular throw. Here comes Gamer B, punishes it's on the It's very interesting throw. that he got the counter hit on the medium kick and didn't follow it up. I know yeah. that there's more pushback on that medium kick now in Season 3, and a lot of Nakali players are uncomfortable converting off a counter hit medium kick now into their full combo. Could have also just been a situation where he was just already prepared to do the other option. Yeah, absolutely, it but it's certainly something to consider. Oh, uh, yeah. anyway, welcome to uh, to the world of us Kents. <laughs> oh, he oh, made nice. it over. He actually got over due to the crouching fears. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the angles that Abigail finds it really difficult to cover as well, the back of his head. Yeah, air to air again. Interesting choice. The jumping light, he doesn't want to have to deal with the dive kick or we jump kick mix up. Also, got the drop kick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, goes up for the throw again. Gamer B goes for the meaty, but no dice. Problem X just playing defense. Oh! The neutral jump. Yeah. Oh my god. Serves him up. Guess what? You Hangs are him up. Back. Hangs him up like a rack of beef in Rocky. But watch out. Oh, oh he's got him! Not enough. Gamer B with the critical arc. One hit will lead to a win. But oh, dash up, crouch, light kick. When Abigail dashes up to you, that's the mix-up. It's so that's scary. Crazy. He's actually so slow as well, but he's so scary in the neutral that you're definitely not thinking about the dash. No major skill. punish. I think that was an execution error. There's yeah. no reason not to do that. You want to build that, that, that rolls beat like trigger. Minus 14 as well. I'm pretty sure he could have got more than medium kick into the target. Rule just barely clicked. Still got that critical arm. Deck. He's probably not going to use it yet. That problem makes with a life lead, which means he doesn't have to take any risks. Poke away with those heavy and jabs. Oh, 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 oh I don't no. think that was what he tried to do. <laughs> doesn't matter. He's worked out for him in the end. Oh, the EX. think about it again. Yep. Gamer View is one of the hardest to read wake up uppercuts. Now, the issue here is as well, he's used that EX uppercut read, and he's still got a massive life deficit. One of his cards revealed. Oh. Nice neutral jump. Okay. Out one more mix. hit in the critical. Desperate to activate. Oh, oh there you go. go. As you it's said. not going to be enough to kill. It's still not a life lead. He oh, went for the fuzzy guard. It didn't connect. Problem X. Oh, oh dash that's up forward uppercut. DP. And that's beautiful because on Nikali's V trigger, you don't remember that he Nicole dashes that wins. far forward yeah, sometimes. Yeah, the range, exactly. Yeah. Extended in V trigger, not the speed, it's the distance. And All he right. was there ready. The reason why we had the blind pick was that Problem X was also switching to M. Bison back and forth. Now, he did say, you know, he was just going to go pure Abigail okay. from this point forward. The but reason I don't think he's going to change, personally, is because if he beats his Nikali, yep. he switches to Kami, and that's a bad matchup. Mm -hmm. That's a matchup that Problem X... It, it's a matchup that Problem X personally dislikes oh, a lot. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we'll see what happens. Who is the strongest Cami European Cami player? Uh, we play Hurricane all the time. Oh, yeah, all okay, the time. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Shout out to Hurricane. <laughs> so he has a lot of frustration with that matchup. And obviously, as he's going to be traveling a lot, and there's a lot of traveling Camis as well on the pro tour, 
he's found it. But he has gone for Bison, so we'll see how this works out. Yeah, I mean, look, this is not even necessarily a free win directly for Problem X. This absolutely, is... but he's putting himself at a disadvantage in the counter pick game. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Round yeah. One. But again, Fight. this is not even an advantage matchup for M. Bison. He just doesn't want to play Abigail in this matchup. He still has to spend that expend didn't even a lot look of like a bad matchup, you know, in terms of the title match either. He didn't get blown up. Here's the corner pressure. Here we go. So it's interesting. I I, I am surprised he did switch because yeah, that, that one wasn't even that bad. And he could put himself in a bad position to have to go up against Cami after this yep. if he can win this. Fighting for uh, top eight right here. Mm, look at these button presses right now. The problem X working out so well, but oh, he gets crush countered out of the EX scissors. Gonna take a lot of damage in that. Yep. There we go, he activates. He's in V Trigger 2, of course. He's got access to that command grab uh, and the Psycho Crusher. Ooh! And Gamer with the surprise. Ooh, not quite the time for the whip punish. Oh, guess what? I have a Psycho Crusher. You forgot. Yeah, you better respect it. That's gone now. He's going to close this round out honestly. The issue here for Nakali, of course, is he can't be reversal, so he's going to take a lot of pressure. He's going to have to make those hard reads like he did with the, the EXDP, or he's going to have to take these plus frames. There's no V reversal for him anymore now that he's in V trip. Yeah, the nice thing is he doesn't have to worry about shit so far away from that. Oh, oh there you go! That's the problem! This time. No pun intended. But yeah, once he activates, he's just got to hold all that, that Bison pressure. Probably so good at exploiting those plus frames of this character. Let's see what game he has. Oh, oh nice. just missed. Unfortunate distancing right there. That wasn't a true three hit combo there. He just got caught in the angle. Stay there. Oh! But it was a duck. Yeah, it was an air ball. So he backdashed and got reset. So interesting, Gamer be choosing to use some of that V reversal, so he's yeah. not going to get a V trigger. Yeah. Well, he's got the soon. life lead right now as well, so he doesn't need to activate that V trigger yet. And didn't want to spend the meter on the critical art confirm right there. Oh, and he just ate the jump in. Get the move. Problem X. Didn't want to spend. Oh, the overhead mid screen. Oh. Yeah, after the jump in, after the jump in, just landed and just got met with the overhead. Gamer be now at max. Point. Nice anti air to crouch fierce. A lot of resources on both players' sides. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, clipped it barely. The hand just stuck its like caught him on the fingernail. Ooh. Press something on landing. Maybe try to take a throw. Oh, walk up throw. I love it. One of the Stay there. And, and you again. can't get away. Has he got enough meat to close this out? Yes, he does. All right. Now we find out what happens. That as we are out. most likely going back to character select. Yeah, that played out exactly how Problem X wanted to. However, this is the—he does not want the cami, but he has already accepted it. He accepted it when he played Bison, and he's confident in himself that he can defeat this yep. character despite what he feels about this matchup. And that's the way you—that's the way you're gonna win tournaments. You're gonna come in and say, you know what? I don't care if this is a matchup I don't like. I will win it anyway. Let's see if he can accomplish this. This is gonna be hard for me to be uh, non-biased. <laughs> no worries. Round one. Here we go. Right. Gamer B going with that cannon. Right. Straight away opens up with the cannon strike. Let's see how Puffin deals with it. A lot of the time he's just going to block and take the pressure. Almost kind of a little tentativeness from Problem X. Yeah, it's a risk for him to anti There you go, you see why. Oh no, and a stun right away. Showing why Problem X just doesn't like this matchup. Uh oh, that's the second time this weekend. He's called he line. Here that. we go. Set up. Oh, oh bomb right. You are now set up with the bomb. Oh, yeah, what a it's big damage. Gets the juggle as well. Oh, wake up, critical was he just off? trying to do that to get out of those? I don't know what it was, but you know what? It worked. And Gamer B bet a lot wow. on that critical art. And 
I respect that though because the wake up DP wouldn't have killed. Right. The critical eye, if you're going to make the reads, go all in on that read. That's what Street Fighter 5 is all about. Right. We punish on the short cannon strike. And the other thing too is if he had gone with the wake up uppercut that was blocked, it would have been a crush counter. However, the critical art, Bison doesn't really have a good way to get over there and punish it. I mean, he had a lot of bar anyway. I think he would have possibly been able to. Yeah. Just no charge. That's the hardest part about that. Oh boy. Gamer B gets in there with the throw. Oh! oh. oh wow, but then Gamer B with the counter poke right away. Try to chase the back dash. Oh boy, he confirmed. Both Here we trying go. to activate there at the same time. Yes. B reversal though to get rid of that pressure. Oh! oh. Again, just goes for it. And there Two is. hard reads from Gamer B that could have cost him both rounds, but right now they've got him in the driver's seat, staring at top eight. Oh, but the counter from Problem X is still in it. Yeah, Problem he X still, still doesn't have B trigger activated yet. So he's going to have to do this the old fashioned way. How is Game of B going to close this oh, out? No, not, not quite yet. Break what a tech. throw tech. What a throw tech Problem from Problem X. Problem X does have the activation. Yes, he just he still has the opportunity. Command throws. Oh, oh the check. He went for the Psycho Crusher. Frame trap, but a little Come too on. slow at Gamer B is going to advance. It was the right read, but Game of B challenged afterwards and closed it out. Now Game of B is our seventh name in top eight tomorrow. <laughs>